Okay, we're going to take a look at Disciple Land's preschool curriculum. What you see right now is the cover of one of the Old Testament teacher guides. You really want to take a look at the two inside cover pages because that's going to give you information about the disciple targets. That is, what are we aiming for, for them to know, to feel, and to do during the quarter. The rest of the information here in these first two pages are things that you're going to want to take a look at. Tell you where we're going and what we're doing during the quarter. The next couple of pages is going to introduce you to um, what we believe about discipleship and how we build disciples through the curriculum. In particular, pages four and five introduce you to how we build disciples in preschoolers. The knowledge we want them to um, gather, the character we want to develop, and the conduct that we'd like to see in our preschoolers as a result of using Disciple Land's preschool curriculum. On page five, you see our characters, Dee, Cy, Paul, and their dog, Chip. They are the role model characters for our preschool children throughout the unit. They're actually going to do the life application of the Bible time story. Pages 6 and 7 are simply the anatomy of a lesson. If you read these, it's going to walk you through every phase of a preschool lesson. I'm going to do that for you, an actual lesson. Next, you see the curriculum map. The curriculum map tells you what the kids are going to study through the quarters of the preschool material. Well, we are ready to take a look at a lesson. The title of the lesson is at the top. You see the big idea, the Bible passage. That's going to help you stay focused on where you want to go and what you want to do. The rest of this page is for you as a teacher, giving you a lesson summary, some good Bible background information. And then at the bottom, again, by lesson, we'll identify the knowledge, the character, and the conduct that we want to see developed. And then we're going to tell you what supplies you need here by segment of the lesson. Well, with that in mind, you're now ready to begin looking at an actual lesson. You'll notice that we begin with worship time. And this page here is giving you the ideas that you would use as your kids are coming into the classroom, getting them involved in a group activity, maybe some singing. And then they will look at the verse for the day they're going to be rehearsing and memorizing. And then there will be a time for prayer. When you plan the lesson, plan out how much time you want for the welcome and worship. Because the next step is very important. It's our Bible time. The Bible time is where you're going to do two things. You're going to teach the Bible story. You're also going to get the kids involved in their student books called Disciple Guides. We give you a couple of ideas for snacks. And then we'll incorporate some play and movement time. If you work with preschoolers, you know that you better give them opportunity to move or they're going to make opportunity to move. Every preschool lesson has a teaching picture that has the Bible art, including the Bible story on the back of the teaching picture. So at this point, you have done the welcome, the worship. You've done the Bible story time. And now we have a page that we call Disciple Time. And this is basically where we want to get the kids to think about what we've been talking about. There'll be an opportunity to review the story. And then there will be some learn by doing activities. The next thing you see here is what we call the D. Cy and Paul story. In addition to that, there is a second teaching picture for every single lesson. And that would be the D. Cy and Paul story and the D. Cy and Paul story will be on the back of that picture in the event that you don't use the puppets. That puppet script is printed out for you. So my recommendation is that you enlist some older kids that want to make the puppet time their ministry to preschoolers. What I do is I give them these scripts in advance so you can photocopy these scripts. They read them and then all they have to do is come in on Sunday morning or whenever you're using the preschool material, do a quick rehearsal and they will do the puppet script for you. The purpose of this script is to do the life application of the story that they've just heard. Now, with what I've shown you so far, 
you're going to have at least 45 minutes to an hour with your preschoolers. But if you would like some additional activities, we have the additional learn by doing activities. As you can see, just on this page right here, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven additional activities for your kids. We will tell you what supplies you need for those activities. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. You may discover that one of these activities here might work better than what you've chosen to do. In particular, you see it says coloring page. We reproduce the coloring pages for you in the back of the teacher guide for several of the weeks. The others are downloadable. Now, this teacher guide contains 12 lessons plus a review lesson. The 13th lesson in every unit is what we call a review celebration. And that's a great time because you have the opportunity there to maybe repeat uh, one of the lessons the kids liked, one of the uh, puppet scripts that they like. Uh, you may want to incorporate some of the uh, additional learn by, learn by doing activities that you didn't use previously. But this is a review time where the, you can determine what your kids have learned during that unit. Following that 13th lesson, I want to focus your attention on some supplemental pages. We give you a lot of great information like age level characteristics so that you know your kids. You know what their needs are. You know what they can do and what they can't do. Keep looking at these pages. Don't quit because we give you some great ideas for learning centers. If you don't use learning centers, read this. Give some consideration because the learning centers that we point out here are going to give you multiple sites that you can set up in your classroom. And kids love learning centers because it allows them to learn the way God made them to learn. Now, you can see that we have the coloring pages. I want to go through these because I want you to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means you'll need to download the other four coloring pages from your website, discipleland.com slash downloads. And you will find from there the coloring pages that you can download. These last pages offer you some information you can send home to parents. And then it offers you what we call good news for preschoolers. And then they're going to learn these various things about God's love, about Jesus. And we refer to this as uh, salvation preparation or salvation readiness. Well, my encouragement to you is this. When you pick up your Disciple and Preschool Teacher Guide, don't wait until Saturday night and don't rush to the first lesson. Read the additional pages and you're going to learn some things that are going to make this so much more enjoyable for you, but more importantly, for the kids in your class.